let me ask you you a question, which is, I guess, what we're here for, right? Uh, when you listen, you mentioned the drug years. When you go back and listen to your whole catalog, do you notice a difference between the music that you made then and music that you're making now? Other than, well, do you notice a difference? Um, well, yeah, I notice when when I listen to records I made on drugs, I can hear where I was at. I can hear in the honeymoon period, in my opiate honeymoon period, we made an album called Priest Equals Aura. And this is almost sacrilegious to say this. This could almost get you cancelled. In the first six months of opium addiction, I produced and I had a desire to produce some wonderful music that each drug I took all my life when I first smoked weed, wow, I want to get this feeling in the music. When I took acid, wow, I want to get this feeling in the music. When I take ayahuasca, wow, how do you get this in the music? Same with opium. It's like, this is a feeling here. Can I capture it in music? This slow, warm, deep, mm -hmm. sensuous feeling. So for the first opiate addicted album, it was warm and sensuous and beautiful. And that was Priest Equals Aura. As the years went on and I struggled against my addiction, I can hear how I've kind of making the music, writing the lyrics despite the junk instead of because of it or for it. And I hear there's there's a legendary album we made called Bastard Universe, which is an 80 minute jam. And halfway through the jam, I stop playing bass altogether and not off. And they keep going. And then I wake up five minutes before the end and rejoin triumphantly like I was never away. And well, I wake up and start playing again. And that's sort of where it, it ended up. It ended up that I was that I was struggling against it to keep going because it didn't really want it didn't really want me to be creative but i was creative despite that so then how long after that were you uh did you quit that drug that drug oh i cleaned i cleaned up in 2000 so it's like 23 years of cleanliness um <laughs> and but not sobriety and by any means so you know, it's legal in America now, so I can say this. I've smoked dope every record, every fucking song I ever wrote, every record I made, every show I did, I've smoked dope. I've, I myself, kids don't try this at home. <laughs> I've, I, found, I found marijuana extremely good for my creativity, never fails me. Um, all other drugs will, if you fool with them, eventually you'll, you'll it do, well, for me anyway, none of, and alcohol too. None of those things ever helped me create anything. But um, it was a it was a relief to leave the heroin years behind, and and then I started to get back on track. On this record, there's me a hundred percent being on track and caring about everything. 